Hello. Hi. Um, if you're wondering why we aren't at our usual couch, you may have noticed that this is a new segment. What? A new segment. Wow. And what's the segment? The segment is called, Let's Talk About It. And today, on our Let's Talk About It, Umbrella Academy. First of all, Ishara, what is a Let's Talk About It segment? Well, a Let's Talk About It is pretty much how it sounds. We are going to be talking about things. Whatever the subject says on the board, that's the subject of the video. Of course, today is Umbrella Academy. We're going to be more focused on Season 3. The Let's Talk About It is not like the reactions. It's not super edited. It's kind of like a podcast. So sit back, do some laundry, vibe with us, get a glass of juice, <laughs> and talk about it with us. For YouTube reasons, this is actually juice. For reality reasons, this is this actually, is actually juice. juice. We don't have wine. Um, the catch to the let's talk about it is that we talk for one hour. Um, we are going to set a timer, and that is how long we have to talk. After an hour, we're done. So this segment will be reserved for shows that we watch by ourselves, that we want to talk to you guys about, and things that we've already watched, and just honestly anything we want to talk about Absolutely. for an hour. For so only an hour. if you guys want to hear us rant about things, let us know if you like this segment. And as you can see, the vibe is low-key for now. For now. Um, I could not, um... <laughs> We're still the same people, same you know? Same people. I started a sentence, I had a... I had a an destination. End, but um, I think that it just left. Alright, so let's start. So I'm going to start the timer right about... All right, so first and foremost, we would just like to talk about the show as a whole, you know? How do we feel about the show as a whole? How do you feel about it? Um, I really like it. I think that the best aspect of the show is the relationship between the family member, the siblings. Um, whenever they do things together, whenever they're brought together in some way, usually by the end, it's like beginning and end, they're brought together. That's always my favorite part of the show. And it's really fun and creative. And I always know I'm going to have a good time. What are your favorite parts of the show? Um, I don't know. I think I just love the characters. Um, I love the arcs that they seem to be given. Like, you know, even Luther had an arc. Uh, like, everybody's different stories, different... Um, The journeys. Word. journeys yeah. yeah yeah they're different journeys in the show in the seasons like just in life you know and i also love how the characters reflect the actors yeah we'll get into that <laughs> um but the show as a whole it's just good writing i remember i didn't want to watch it i didn't want to watch the show at all um because you know how i am i <laughs> hate starting new shows i hate starting things so it wasn't the show itself, it was just y your general no, dislike No, yeah, of... it was just my general anxiety dislike of watching Starting things. Starting things, okay. Because um, my sister kept begging me to watch it. She was like, you should watch it, it's so good, you would love it. It's like right up your alley, weird superhero people. And it is like, right up your alley. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want to watch it, I don't want to watch it. And then she just put it on. <laughs> Much like how Ishara gets me to that's, watch that's things. That's how you gotta do things, so. Um, She just put it on. And like, I remember being so angry. I was so upset. You know, it's my usual span of emotions. Um, I was so upset that she just put it on and forced me to watch it. And then I was like, hold on. It was really when Klaus came up, you know? <laughs> I was just like, he is my favorite character. So I was like, wow, you have sold me on this show. Mm -hmm. and I was also like, who's this monkey talking? <laughs> it was just so much weirdness that it just hooked me. And I was like, wow, yep, I love it. So I love how like weird it is too. It's just so weird. 
and so fun. I think I got hooked on the dance scene. I do hope that they have some kind of dance scene to. every season. They At this to. point, it's required. They have to. Um, so we talked a little bit about the characters. Um, I told you my favorite is Klaus. I couldn't figure out how to dress like him because he's a very unique sense of style. Um, but I did dress like one of his cult followers. And then I put his tattoos on, on the wrong hands. Um, I was always drawn towards Allison. Allison loves a cape, gloves, very dramatic. Um, you will find, or you have already found, that I am drawn towards the black characters. So, but I do like Allison. Um, there are some things that she did that I didn't like, but we'll get to that. Do you have a least favorite character? Um, I guess of everyone, like at least of the siblings, it would have to be Luther. Um, okay. it would have to be Luther just because he he made a bad first impression. He made a very bad first impression. Like season one, I did not like him. And honestly, this might be unpopular, but Victor annoys me quite often. Like Victor Hargreaves. Yeah. Like the dad? Like Vanya Victor? Oh. Yes. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know what I was... Okay, yeah. Yeah, Reginald is the dad. For some reason in my brain, I was like, Victor, the dad. No. Continue. Force me to use his dead name. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Victor annoys me somewhat but often. Victor also, like, Victor's always annoyed me. Like, yeah. It's not even like it was just like a third season or like no, no, second like season. No, no, like, generally just, throughout the season. Like, I remember in the first season, I think I felt bad. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I feel bad for you, but like, there were some points because when Victor found out that like they had been um, like putting him in the like about the past and like had been like sedating him or whatever, yeah. and then Luther was like, "No, like we have to, we have to like kill you or whatever." I was like, "Luther, relax, <laughs> relax, yeah, sir, for sure." Like I was on Victor's side for that one, yeah, because like he didn't know, and like their dad was just stifling. It's literally frozen. Yeah. Like you can't stifle the I mean, child's power. He's a, he's a victim. He's a victim. He's a victim. And that's why it's never... It's, as much as he annoys me, it's never enough for me to dislike him. But, like, to be fair, they're all victims. But, um... I feel like that's why I like Klaus the most. Because I'm just like, you poor baby. Mm -hmm. And, like, he doesn't ever do anything that annoys me. Yeah. It's mostly just him, like, being this traumatized yeah. human being. That I'm just like, I want to give you all the hugs mm -hmm. and all the love. Yeah. Because you deserve it. Yeah. That's what draws me to Klaus. Klaus, I mean, Klaus is great. Klaus is like probably my second favorite character. Um, he's just amusing, too. Yeah, he's, he's fun the comedy. To watch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, usually the most traumatized out of the funnier ones. The That's how it works relief. in real life, too. It's, he's the comedic relief until he makes you so deeply sad. Yeah. That you're like, wow, thanks for that. Um, yeah. On to season three? On to season three. So we had promised that we were going to watch season three for YouTube and for Patreon, and then we did not do that. Um, what? Us breaking promises? I'm getting real tired. Breaking promises, promises. promises. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we didn't do that, and we said that we might do some sort of review, and that's why we're more focused on season three than anything else. Also, this is one of the shows where it's like, the entire show goes out of my brain for a minute. I don't know what it is, but like, when we were starting to watch season three, I sat down and I was like, do I know anything that like, happened? Unless you've watched it over and over and over again, Yeah. or watched it recently there's a fly yeah 
or watched it recently, um, there's like no way that you'll like, remember, remember it. Anything. Yeah, like I remember things. That's because we watched so much. And, we watched so much. And I, the last time I watched it was like two years ago. Season one, at least. Season two as well. So yeah, and I don't remember everything, but season three is somewhat kind of sort of fresh a little bit in kind my brain. Florida. So all right, let's start about let's start talking about the things that we liked in season three. What did you like? Um that you remember. <laughs> <laughs> um I liked the Sparrow Academy. Um <gasps> <laughs> The Sparrow, Sparrow Academy. Academy. <laughs> um, I like the idea of them. Uh, we didn't get to see much of them as like an entirety, an entire group. We got to see it, like, I mean, every time- In the time, first and second episode. Every time they fought the Umbrella Academy, they whooped them. Yeah, they did. They whooped them. Yeah. It wasn't until, uh, what's his name? Victor, the, the boy. That Victor was taking care of. That was an old man. And this, oh, I forgot to print out his picture. Yeah, the son. Uh, it was Harold. Sissy's no daughter. Son. Son. Yeah. Sissy's son. Sissy's son. Him. Well, it might have been Harold. Uh, no, it's not. Harold. <laughs> I, think I just picked a name. Uh, we're gonna call him Harold for right now because I don't remember his name. Harold. Uh, it wasn't. If it wasn't for him. They would have got their ass whipped again. Probably. Yeah. Especially because I think they were outnumbered. Yeah. They were. So. Um, yeah. Sparrow Academy was very good. I thought that like when the second season ended on that, I was really excited to see what changed and everything. And um, I liked getting to know the new characters, mm -hmm. seeing a different version of Ben. All of that was like really, really cool. Um, the Footloose scene, I've actually watched that so many times. Yes. It is amazing. Yes. Everybody did great. Yes. I think my favorite part of that is this one part where number five is, number five, where five is um, dancing and he's like hopping towards the camera. His face is completely straight He's face. always like so serious about everything. I'm like, so you're in a dance battle and you're still going to be a like- A dance battle to fight loose. Right. And you're still going to be straight face serious. Yeah, because it's a battle. And like Diego, everybody else was having such a great time. I know. Yeah. They're and I think that's what I really time. liked about it is how much fun everyone was having. And then also, I fully just believed that it was happening. Like, I didn't think, oh, this is a hallucination, or this is weird. I kind of forgot like, that she, like, spit on his face. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot like, about it. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. This is Umbrella Academy. It's weird. I'm here for the weirdness. I'm here to be confused. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that those are my favorite parts of the, the third season. I have to agree with Footloose. <laughs> that was, um very great that was just amazing especially that was in the first episode right so like yeah it's like just, the first 10 minutes it's like yeah it's like one of the first things that you see is them dancing to footloose being quite ridiculous um what else did i like um i like that we got to see more of klaus's powers i'm i know that i just keep talking about klaus but like we didn't ever get to see him like do anything yeah with his powers and yeah. we're finally getting an understanding of what he can do and like finding out about his powers how he can like come back to life all the time like he's died so many times that's ridiculous yeah um and like he can decide if he wants to go back or not yeah so i feel like that's really cool and just like seeing more of everybody's powers too because mm -hmm. even like seeing more of allison's powers and how I'm very glad that she's not a villain because, <laughs> girl, she's scary. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot more of everybody. I love that about season three. I, I don't know. I also just love how, like, it's always, you know, 
the end of the world yeah and they like lose all their hope yeah and then something happens even though at the end of this one like they didn't even regain hope they were just kind of like forced <laughs> into this mm -hmm. thing by their manipulative father um yeah i don't know I yeah don't know. i it really tested the or like explored the depths of each power and i thought that was really cool yeah it also is just it's always umbrella academy as a whole it's just like the time travel <laughs> you'll never be able to understand it at least i don't once i think that i understand it they do something that makes me think that i don't mm -hmm. it makes uh no sense but all the sense at the same time does that make sense yes it makes sense i mean you go in knowing that you're going to be slightly confused exactly you kind of just have to like accept whatever reality they give yeah, you and yeah. i think that's one of the best things about the show is that yeah they're like don't think too hard about it just know that what we're telling you is the truth mm -hmm. essentially yeah every season there's a new apocalypse yep and this one it was the cuckoo blitz <laughs> um, see that five times so. yeah i was like whatever that means i say um, cuckoo 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 blitz. Blitz. oh my gosh it like made me stutter booga, booga. Booga. Wrong channel. Is that copyrighted? No, no. <laughs> we have to pay him ten dollars now. Oh god. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What do you remember about the Google Blitz? Just as a like whole. Um, I remember it pulsed a lot. <laughs> it was this pulsating um, blob. I remember that Grace was obsessed with it. Yes. She got very religious over yeah, that uh, for a robot. Cool blitz. Yeah. Um, it took the only other black guy in the show. <laughs> Let's talk about it, because I have feelings. I have thoughts. I have a lot of emotions. I was very upset. I thought he was going to come back. Uh, the whole time, I did not believe he was actually gone. Like, to be fair, time. he might not be now. Yeah, may he might not be now, because I assume everybody came back mm -hmm. or was it just the people who were with them yeah I, I i have no idea but um i do know that i was not happy about that yeah uh i first off when they announced the cast of like the pic they showed the picture and everything with sparrow cabin yeah, i saw him i was like number one is a black man first off he annoyed me he was very annoying he but like get a complex yes but also he was only in the show for like two episodes so you know who else was annoying almost everybody maybe he could have grown he didn't get a chance and i literally didn't believe that he was gone yeah you sure kept every episode just being like is he gonna come back so when's he coming back because it was i think when more sorry i had a burp and it wouldn't come up. <laughs> it was when like more of the Sparrow Academy people started being picked off one by one that I was like, oh, okay, so he was just the first. That at least, he's not coming back. At least his death wasn't as brutal. He yeah. kind of got ripped apart, though, by that thing. Yeah, but, like, those other deaths were, like... Some of them were pretty intense. Pretty intense. Yeah. Pretty intense. Um, I'm like, okay, you couldn't have killed the cube. <laughs> Her no, is his name Harold? The cube? Yeah. I think the cube's name. What's your name, bud? Gerald? <laughs> Jake. I loved, I'm gonna have to point because I don't know any of the Sparrow Academy names. This. This Faye. queen. Faye? Faye. Faye. I love her. Yes. She was great. She was great. Her, her energy scared me. was immaculate. Yeah. And I loved that her posture was great yes. all the time. Made me want, you know? I know. Made me want to get my life together. Um, this guy interested me because it was like sometimes when they hit him, his power, his power was that, you know, if you hit him, it reflects onto you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do to him, it reflects onto you. Sometimes when they would hit him, it wouldn't happen. So I'm like, is it only when you hit like 
a certain part certain parts like the, the um certainly like the, the face ro- like the role parts yeah because when he was it shows when he was younger his face like he didn't always look exactly yeah like that. it got worse so like seems. yeah like did it start taking over and like the more of his body it took over the more spots it was like protecting i was very interested about his uh power yeah and just when i thought we were gonna learn more about it he died I'd say if we're talking about like favorites and the least favorites, I think that's my least favorite thing about it was that we didn't really get much time. Like we with got Sparrow. the Sparrow Academy, but then we lost them so quickly. We also got like not even to like shit on her, but we got like the most the least interesting one. We got the Luther of Yeah, like she can levitate people, okay. Yeah, and everybody knows about the And like, she might have annoyed me because of her relationship with Luther. Like, we're just gonna go in and talk about it. I didn't care. Didn't care. Um, they wanted me to care a lot more than I did, and I did not. Um, also, I feel like they made Luther's character like slightly more enjoyable, but maybe it's because he wasn't trying to sleep with his sister. Even though still technically because like they're all reginald's kids Mm -hmm. like technically but anyway um but i feel like they're they're kind of like doing the thing where they make him really dumb and i felt like that yeah and i felt like that when i was yeah when i was watching um the season that i was just like he's just kind of like dumb sometimes yeah and like maybe he always was but it's just because like he was like number one and you know he was always complex he was was really serious in the first season that like and now he's kind of just like i you know i'll give it to him because he's finally getting to be the kid that he never got to be look at him so (laughs) just happy as hell so maybe that's what it is that he's finally just being being the like being a person yeah and this is he's starting from like rock bottom yeah being like okay i'm gonna be a child you know i if he doesn't get dumber like i feel like there's no need for him to get any dumber than this i'm cool with like staying on this vibe because Mm -hmm. um like he every season he gets better and i'm sure they did that a little on purpose they're like oh nobody likes him nobody and nobody likes him well nobody liked him i won't say likes currently but I I know that there were Luther fans out there, but like, y'all were few and far between, let me tell you. Because most people I saw, it was like, can you guys get him and Allison off the screen, please? Because this makes me deeply uncomfortable. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, they're adopted siblings. It's like, first of all, not really, because Reginald sent down his little, I assume, magic sperm (laughs) onto Earth. And got all those ladies pregnant. Uh, and then two, adopted siblings are still siblings. Especially if you grew up together. Yeah, I don't know what it is with TV shows trying to loophole incest into storylines. But it's been a thing for a minute. They're like, and oh, I well, don't, you know, they're step-siblings. They're step-siblings. They're, like, they're adopted siblings. They're, um... It's like if you want to sleep with whatever your sibling, is. just say that. Yeah. self Self-sus. And like I feel like I can deal with it once or twice, but it's it's been a prevalent thing for a while. It's just weird. It's just as weird as the whole like teacher dating student trope. Like all of those are very fetishes weird fetishes that people keep writing into shows that they need to stop. Especially when they're like teen shows. Mm-hmm. Like not that it's okay in adult shows either, but like, like what is wrong with you guys? Yeah. Why do you want siblings to date and to sleep Boink. together? This is weird. I don't like it. Yeah. I what do you gain it. from it? Their own fantasies being on the screen. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's weird. I wasn't a fan of Luther and Allison at all. Speaking of Luther and Allison. This season did something pretty big and then glossed right over it. Um, so, getting Allison. We can talk about Allison. 
Allison, uh, we, I mean, we could just say it. Allison was having a time this season. Yeah. But that does not condone what she did. Allison. She, yeah. Um, yeah, I would say I, I was, I'm, I'm sure Allison got a lot of hate, like just in general. Probably not even just from that scene. Like she was acting out. Um, and not just because like she's one of my favorite characters but also just because i felt really bad for her like it she's she lost everything she lost her daughter and she did not handle it well at all and i had a lot of sympathy for her um, like, even because like i her. mean she lost so many people like she lost her husband in yeah. the first season and then she loses her daughter and then she meets a new guy and then she loses him too yeah so like that's three people but she left the one guy so that she could have her daughter again just yeah. to come back and realize that she's not gonna get her daughter which i was like that sense of hope was so strong in her because honestly i was thinking oh my girl you go back in time like when they got there and she saw that this wasn't their home. This wasn't the world that they like left. She couldn't even think about it. I know, it I know. And I'm just like, I felt bad because I'm like, you know, deep in your heart, you know mm -hmm. that that little girl's not going to be there. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you know? But I guess she's like, you know, well, if I'm existing here, then I would have my daughter. And it's like, not necessarily. You could have yeah, a whole nother kid. Not necessarily. But then we find out that, you know, they were in fact dead. Not even born. Yeah. Because their parents got, or their mothers got uh, obliterated. Uh, obliterated. In the most horrific like, way. Literally exploded. It's a very gruesome montage of death. Um, but that all being said, Allison did sexually assault Luther. I heard a rumor of him into doing something he didn't want to do. Yeah. Like, even if it was just kissing or whatever, like, that was so very gross. It made me very uncomfortable. And like, I understand that she felt bad about it after she did it, but then they just didn't talk about it. Yeah. Like, I feel like as a show, you can't just put something in there like that and then just be like, anyway, moving on. Yeah, just used it or did it to do it. Yeah, they just did it. They did it to show us how low she was mm -hmm. and like then didn't have any consequences for it afterwards. She also didn't have like a, a moment of clarity or a turnaround after. Yeah, she just kind of went like, <gasps> and then ran away. Yeah, and, and then it was like kept okay. going on the path that she was going on. Yeah, I feel like they didn't handle that well at all. Like they should have just not put it in. I was gonna say I feel like it wasn't necessary. It was not necessary. We, she was already going the down show, to the season. Bad path. We already saw how she was. It just kind of like going. villainized her and made her wide open for criticism yeah from the fans that being said i would like to give her a break next season please somebody said that um i think i saw this on tumblr every season there's like a character who's like annoyingly obsessed with something and like in the first season it was luther second season was diego with like the jfk thing. third season is allison and they're going in order oh they are going and they're over. like who is it klaus i, I think, think it's klaus klaus, is, klaus is gonna have to be extremely obsessed with something next season you're gonna have to see it i mean he kind of was in this season he was obsessed with finding his mom yeah <laughs> but that was more like his i feel like the thing that the person is obsessed with has affects to, the whole group like yeah well, it would be about time because I feel like Klaus is never like he's always a off part to of the side. Group. Yeah, he's always and then he comes in later, which um, is not something that I super love. Because as yeah. I said, my favorite thing is when they come together as a group. Yeah, I don't like how he's always off to the side too. Like he always has one person with him, or like, and usually it was Ben. Yeah. And then it was it was five in this one, in this season. Was it? Um, yeah. I was he, thinking it was the dad. Oh well, it was it was kind of both because five went on the road trip with him. And then, yeah. and then he was with the dad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, back to Allison. I would just like to give her a break next season, and hopefully, if what your theory is, she'll if that calm down. through, she'll calm down and like. I just am like, baby girl. 
she some deserves therapy. to have some something for some herself. Therapy, please. Like now in the season, she got what she wanted, um, and her whole family is alive. We don't have to take it away again. Yeah, whole family's alive. Like they can all just live normal lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, normal-ish. Normal-ish lives. I'm sure there's gonna be some other apocalypse. I I think one of my fears is that the show is gonna start getting repetitive. Yeah, I wanted to save that until the end when we finished all the characters. Talk about that because I was like, but that's a fear. Yeah. Because it could. Um. I would like to just say right now that I do not blame Alice. In fact, I am on Allison's side when it comes to killing Harold or whatever his name is. I forget that name's name. So sorry. I felt really bad for him. Let me say that first. I, I that. had so also, much sympathy for him. He was causing so much trouble. So much. And like, literally, Victor kept just being like, oh, but we have to save him, we have to save him, like, I can do this, I promise I can do this, and then Allison was like, so you're the reason why my daughter isn't alive, basically in her head, because she's like, you made it so that I wasn't born, Yeah. which means that my daughter couldn't be born in this timeline. And then killed him. And then killed him, and I was just like, it was kind of weird that they didn't show, show her it. killing him. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I was just like, so did she and then even his body in the trunk i was like is he just knocked out yeah i did i, was like, I do I'm remember confused. not a hundred percent being sure if he was dead, dead or, not. or not yeah and i guess maybe that's what they wanted mm -hmm. but still and then because when she was like yeah i killed him i was like oh okay mystery solved it's done and maybe I'm that's sure what they wanted yeah i didn't blame her i didn't hate her for it i didn't care yeah, honestly, it was more like I didn't care at all. Yeah, and maybe there could have been a solution, but that was a faster one. So, it, he he was old. He lived a whole life. Yeah. Whole he life. Did. That he shouldn't have. <laughs> for being real. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I did feel sorry for him. He had a really, really difficult s story in life. Um, but that seems to be Victor's thing seems to be Victor's thing is this obsession and then like complete inability to listen to reason and ever sacrifice anything and I get it but every single season yeah. it irritates me yeah. and that's like when Allison was like you get everything that you want mm -hmm. she's like we always rally around you we always do this and that for you we always clean up your messes when you're the one who starts the apocalypse every time and i'm just like what did she say we should have left you in the basement something yeah, like that like we should have left that you. was yeah. wild I was like, that was wild i and i said while we were i was like do not tell allison about this man yeah and you were like well maybe because you know mm -hmm. they have a strong bond it's allison and victor mm -mm. Mm -mm. Allison was is gone <laughs> because even at the end of the season like she was only playing nice yeah to get back to her daughter yeah which we peeped which we peeped we, we were like it was just quick yeah. it was like if it, it, was if it a wasn't turnaround. a play then it would have been rushed yeah so we were like no good reason we were like unless this is bad writing mm -hmm. this is good writing and <laughs> she's just trying to trick them but she didn't do a good job no like girl you gotta play it a little she, better she didn't do a good job and she played it for like two seconds yeah and then was like oh my god as i can't soon, like literally as soon as like the vote was that they didn't do yeah. whatever it was go and, and fight was, the thing mm -hmm. back, back to being to, annoying yep. with the, annoyed with them yep it was when um reginald sir reggie here mm -hmm. killed our boy where are you Luther. Oh. Yeah. Killed them both. He did kill them both, but she didn't see that. Yeah. Well, she, well they saw Luther dead, and then they went in there, and, and he she, left Klaus. She, uh, yes. She, was she like, asked him, was like, did you do that? He was like, no. Yeah. And she was like, that wasn't a part of the plan. And he was like, I didn't do it. Uh-huh. It just it, happened. It was the monster. Oh, my goodness. The monster. The monster behind the pinball machine? Was it a painting? It was a 
painting or pinball machine? One of those. Or neither of those. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the next character. Ben. Mr. Ben. So, <laughs> Ben annoyed the ever-loving shit out of me this season. And, like, I get it. Because he was meant to. Because he was meant to. Because he, like, you know, was, like, he's like Diego on steroids. Like, season one Diego, who was, like, I want to be number one. Or, like, was upset at Luther for being number one or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, on so many steroids. Mm -hmm. He was just like, no, I want to be number one. I want to do this. I want to lead the team. And then he leaded the, leaded, led, led them to death. Yeah, um, he was awful. He was a terrible leader. And we learned that he was number one. And then got demoted because he sucked. Yeah, because he sucked. And then got number one again when there was like, she, he was like, I'm number one. And she was like, cool, there's two of us <laughs> left. What are you number one of? So like, yeah, one and two. <laughs> okay. Like... Yeah, he was de he was definitely annoying. Um, he also so let me just say all of the actors on the show are phenomenal, but his like I, I could not take asshole Ben seriously. No, no, not at all. And I don't no. know if it was in fact the acting or me knowing who the character was, which was an actual absolute sweetheart. Um, like, a he was like a, he was like a sarcastic asshole, but like, yeah, he was so like sweet. Yeah. And like, you know, he cared about Klaus and like, he wasn't annoying. Yeah, he was so aggressive in this, in this season. And like, and not even just in like his actions, but also like the way he spoke and his delivery and everything. And I got to a point somewhere in the season where I was like, dude, can you just like take a chill pill? It was, this season was a lot more like jokey. Like I feel like the extreme that they did with Ben is also how I feel about the extreme they did with Luther. Hmm. Like I feel like it was extreme, but in like opposite directions. Okay. Like Luther was just not serious, like at all half mm -hmm. the time. And then Ben was trying to be serious but like I couldn't take him seriously yeah so it was like two sides of the same coin mm -hmm. it was just it just felt weird yeah like it felt like out of their characters a little bit mm -hmm. you know yeah. but I guess I mean like with Luther it's like this is Luther after being depressed because he was like depressed all of season one yeah and then all of season two yeah and then finally you know he got some happiness but then it's also because, like, we don't, I don't know, it's weird because like, we don't know much about his character. Like, even though he's been in every season, but he's mm -hmm. always a ghost and always, like, this sort of, like, on the side, peripheral. Yeah, he's always dealing with Klaus and, yeah. like, you know, we don't really see much. We barely even knew how he died for, like, the longest yeah. time. Yeah. Do we know now? I don't think so. I don't think they ever showed it. Yeah, I should show it. I, I don't. He clearly died at a somewhat older age because that's the ghost that was there. So, mm -hmm. like, just show it. Oops. A little yeah. flashback. Well, because he definitely died after five left. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Well, because Ben, yeah, Ben dying is what made them all leave each other. Yeah. Because they were like, yeah, no. It was like after five, everything after Ben, after ben and then like Victor. It was just yeah, like at that point. And, and that was also very interesting to see, like, the Sparrow Academy, and it's like, what, what, what where's the team, where, like, what were you doing? And yeah, Umbrella Academy is definitely more of a family. Yeah. What? Why did it go out of focus? Did it? Yeah. That's Are we so good now? Weird. Yeah. That By the so time weird. I looked, it looked fine. It was so out of focus. Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> The Umbrella... The Umbrella? Maybe I'm out of focus. <laughs> the Umbrella Academy was more of a family than Sparrow Academy, in my opinion. Like, Sparrow Academy is very, like, business. Mm -hmm. This is a team, mm -hmm. a work team, mm -hmm. not, like, a family team. Yeah. And then the Umbrella Academy is more like... A family. A family, which is why they fight and, like, argue the way that they do and, like, you know. But 
that's why Reginald didn't like them yeah. and why he was like I'm not doing it this way yeah and why they were like the Sparrow Academy was what he wanted yeah until they, they drugged his sedated ass him. Uh, that was due to this. yep little pogo right there thank you pogo stick thank you pogo uh, he was like yeah drug him drug this man as they should have as they should have and you know what they had me feeling bad i think they yes. do this it's like the uh, the squid game effect i see a little old man and i'm just like oh like, oh they're drugging you that's so sad why would they do Funny. that and then you're like oh yeah because he's him you're the worst like he stops being drugged and runs around Klaus it's, and then... Yeah, it's because he's sitting there being like, oh, well, you know, like, you can't judge me based off of other timeline me. He's like, you know, so, I'm not yeah, the same so person. Yeah, so I was like, okay, let's try to give... It's basically like uh, Doctor Strange, how they, like, you yeah. know, were trying to arrest him and he was like, I'm a different timeline me. Yeah. You can't blame me. And they were like, okay, but every other timeline you sucks, so... Valid. We're gonna be careful. Yeah. So I would be like, yeah, the next time, that's why I'm like this next season, seeing Hargreaves, I'm like, I don't care if I don't you trust are, you. I'm never going to trust you. Especially that now he like runs the world. Yeah. Girls. I completely forgot. Yeah. Yeah. He like runs the whole world. Yeah. So. Uh, another thing about Luther, before we get too far away, is he got took in by the Sparrow Academy. They did not notice. I found that hilarious. They were also um, busy with other things. They didn't even notice slightly and he just knew that they were going to and he was dead wrong. And then he came back from there and just was like, they are so great. Like, <laughs> relax, okay? He had Sherlock Stockholm he Syndrome and I was sick of their it. their suit on. I know. They gave him a suit and he rolled up to his team. Allison laughed, and you know what? I laughed too. I would be cracking. I would be like, Luther, what are you wearing? I would bully you. What are you wearing? I would bully you. He would. He would cry. I couldn't. <laughs> because like, sir, <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you like Sparrow Academy? He's like, yeah, all you have to do is give them back their number one, and I'm. They're like, cool. We don't have him. And yeah. He's like, come on, guys, really. They're like, really, we. I don't even like, know what you're talking about. Like, we barely know who this man is. So why would he, why would why, why would we want him? Why would we take him? And then it was like half the season that they were like, you still have him. And I'm like, can y'all just talk, please? And they like, didn't hey. find the cuckoo bits for a while. For a while. Can you follow Grace? Just follow her down there, please. She was going off when they tried to kill it too. Anya was terrified of her. I was, yo, she was scared. First of all, I don't like robots. <laughs> All right, let's just get that out in the open. Let's start here. Let's start here. I'm sorry to my phone, laptop, the camera, the TV. Any robots watching. Any robots watching. I do not trust robots. So this world that we're getting into, where people want cars to be driving by themselves and robots to be running everything, I'm like, have you not seen a single movie? Have you not seen a single movie? Have you not watched Umbrella Academy? <laughs> have you not seen I Am Robot? <laughs> What are we not learning here, okay? So one, I don't like robots. Two, she is terrifying in this season. She's so scary. She's so scary. She gets, I don't know what it is about people being super religious that it's scary. Maybe <laughs> it's trauma, I don't know. <laughs> it's terrifying. Like why was she so obsessed with it? And why, like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't. Why was she religious anyway, ma'am? Your bolts. Yeah. It was also, didn't, um, somebody, who, I think five killed her, four, so Diego didn't have to. Did I watch the show? I think that's what, I think that's what he said, or something like that. He was like, like he killed her so that Diego wouldn't have to do it again, because he did it in the other season, mm. and you know, where, where is he at? Diego? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. Diego, little mama's boy. Yeah. Uh, he could not go through that again. This is her looking at the Google Blitz. Her crazy ass. <laughs> Scary. Also, because she's so human looking. Human like. Like, she has too many feelings. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I want to create somebody that'll, like, be like a mother to you. And I'm like, mm, no. 
just be a father to them. How about that? How about that? He wanted a he wanted to be a leader. Yeah. And then you got sedated. So like look at look at karma. Yeah. Um, let's get into Diego. Okay. Oh Diego Yeah. Go ahead. When had first of all Stanley that whole storyline that was a mess. That was so messed up. That was a mess. That was so messed that up. Was a, that was so messed up of Lila. That was so messed up of her. Also, are they dating in real life? Because I saw their Instagram and like they're so cute. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, that was so messed up. She's like, yeah, he's not really your kid. Like, so you had me going and getting this kid's ear infection medicine and like yeah, taking that care ear of was him. Leaking. And like doing all this stuff and he's not even my kid had me grow attached and like i was thinking like oh my god how long were you gone but then i remembered that you know time travel time and she travel. was in that place the um uh-huh the place where five used to work mm-hmm. that apparently he's the creator of oh i forgot about that we'll get to five in a second anyway i was like she was there so like she could have had the baby there and mm-hmm. like been out of time and space or wherever it is maybe it's at the dot of the eye of jeremy Jeremy. i don't know <laughs> um <laughs> or the dot of the j i think the j doesn't have a dot because it's capitalized maybe yeah, possibly yeah. jeremy yeah jeremy so it's the, the dot above the eye is you have all your laptop right i should google it it's nowhere and everywhere. Yeah. And also Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So I was just like, okay, she could have had this baby. And then. And then. And then it wasn't and then his. And it wasn't his. And she was like, well, I'm pregnant. So, like, I wanted to see how you would act with the kid. Like, this is not how you do that. No. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm allow the hormones well, it's to make her, you know, they meant they met in the men- mental hospital, yeah. which is what she said. He was like, "You're insane." She's like, "Well, where did we meet? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you fell for me when you thought I was crazy." So and here I am. Yeah, <laughs> so, still crazy. Still crazy. Yeah, we got like 15 minutes. So number that's five, a speed run. Uh, let's go to Cloud. Any... Oh. oh, okay. I was just gonna say, is there anything else we need to say about Diego? But I think that's it. I think that's all we have to say about that. He had a haircut. Uh, he had a haircut. He was mostly like vibing except for the kid thing. Yeah. And like he was dealing with the kid. And it, it was cute seeing him as a dad. Yeah. I wonder how it will be next season. I feel like there's going to be like a time jump. Like maybe he'll have a kid. Yeah. So, yeah. If um the way her powers work, the one with the venom, um, makes you see your greatest desire, then that means his greatest desire is to have a dance battle. And I love that for him. <laughs> And that is all I have to say about these. So like, I want to have a dance battle with mm-hmm. all of my siblings mm-hmm. against you guys. And then for us all to decide that we're just having fun. Yeah. He's such a little baby. I love that. Oh, when his stutter came back. Oh my god, like, my stop. heart. Especially because, you know, my memory sucks with the show, so I forgot that it had ever been a thing. And it just slammed into my brain again. I love like, this poor... He's another one that I was like, I just want to give you a hug. Yeah. Oh. No, when him and Allison went and uh, fought all those racist guys, all the um, Confederates. I loved that. that. I would, oh my God, that, that was, was great. That was a great time. That was great. One, cause she was like, I thought we were gonna get something to drink that was stronger than slushies. And he was like, I got you. Don't disrespect the slushies. Yeah. And then I saw the Confederate flag in the back. I was like, ooh, <laughs> what, what they about to do? Mm-hmm. And I like that like, there wasn't anybody there to like stop them or mm-hmm. like make them be like, this no. isn't moral, this isn't good. Yeah. They just did it. They just did, did they it. They did what they needed to do. I wish do. we could have seen it. I know. I was about to say that. I wish that we could have seen it. But they came back knuckles bruised and black eye, vibes high, they and said, I respect it. How are you? Like, honestly, you know, having a bad day, go fight some Nazis. I don't know. Go fight some Confederates. Um, you like to talk about Klaus? Yes. I mean, I don't know if we have any more. I know, about I was going to say, what do you want to say? I was just looking at the list. I was just going down. Um, there's nothing else really to say. Uh, I felt bad about him. You know, he found his mom. I feel like we went on again. Oh my goodness. Hello. Uh huh. 
hi. Is it on autofocus? We yeah, take it's, it off it's been on autofocus just like the whole time we've had this channel. Yeah, we can take it off that. Especially when we're up here. I don't know what it's focusing on, but it's, is there a ghost? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. like I was saying about Klaus, uh, it was nice that he got to see his mom and that he got more understanding of his powers. Yeah. Um, cause when he died, I was like, he can't be dead. And now we found out. I that, didn't even. Yeah, I was like, especially knowing what his power was, I was like, I feel like this is gonna be fine. Yeah, especially because he, we always see him in the afterlife. Yeah, and he always comes back. Mm -hmm. So I know, little girl, death or God or whatever is like you again. Especially when uh, he was training and it was just over, over, back to back to back. That's why I'm like, I'm sure she's probably happy that he now has an understanding of his power and can get back on his own. Yeah, she's like, I'm tired of talking to you. Yeah. She don't mm -hmm. talk, but yeah. Well, she talked a little bit and she, the first time he saw her. Did she? And he, she okay. was like, I don't like you. And mm -hmm. he was like, okay. Because <laughs> what else are you supposed Sorry. to say to that? Like, you made me, didn't you? Yeah. And she's like, mm, I ain't make you. <laughs> Specifically. Specifically. Um, number five. So, number five had a time this season. First of all, that is a man who just wants a vacation and i want he it for him it. he deserves it my thing about him for next season i was I'm like are you gonna age now yeah he's kind of been like, aging do you have to go back to school no because <laughs> like if i'm him i'm not going i'm like 87. i know but like imagine they like see him on the street and they're mm -hmm. like hey you gotta go to school and he's like i will literally fight you mm -hmm. and then go like and he, he doesn't will. have his powers oh right so he can't like blip away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and apparently he's the like creator, creator of the. He lost his arm. He lost his arm. Yeah. Which basically everything that he was trying to avoid happening happened. happened because yeah. He realized that it had to happen in order to do the thing that he told. You Lee do the yeah. thing. Yes. He was like, whatever you do, don't try to save the world. And here he is. He tried to save the world. Mm -hmm. well, well, he tried not to save. He he, he tried, wanted to give up. He tried not to, and then he changed his clothes. <laughs> he was done. He was done. Um, well, because it was uh, Victor, right, that ended up like saving everybody, or was it Allison? At the end, one of them like knocked out Hargreaves, Reginald. And like, I assume Allison, because she's the only one who like had the ability to move. Yes, it was Allison. It was Allison. And they were like, Allison, don't do it, don't do it. And she and was like, you. Ooh. And we're and you know, and we're here. Like, I want my daughter. So yeah. So we're doing it, basically. Yeah, we're doing yeah. it. Um, yeah. So five was just five. Was just trying to have a vacation. He literally gave up on saving the world until. And I, I like when they do that, when, like, characters are pulled back in. Mm -hmm. Not, like, by, like, you know, curiosity, but also just, like, physically, like, this was his destiny to do these things. Yeah. Like, the world was literally, like, no. Yeah. This is the path you're going to take. And he was just, like, trying to avoid it. And then couldn't. Um, went and got tatted by Pogo. <laughs> Pogo. I love that he supplied the drugs. But um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about number five. I hope that he gets to take a break soon. He desperately deserves it. I hope when, he's happier. When he spoke to Victor, that was actually my favorite scene. One of my favorite scenes of the season as a whole, but definitely like one of my favorite five scenes. Yeah. Because he was exactly, I think, what he needed to be. He was understanding, yeah. he was sympathetic, but he was like, you can't keep doing this. And it's valid. Yeah. He can't. Yeah. I I also loved when he talked to him. It was very much like it and was a wake up call for, or it should have been a wake up call for him. Yeah. Like, we can't keep saving you. And it felt very mature, which makes sense because he's older. Mm -hmm. Um. And the thing that I like about Five is he's always business. Yeah. And I respect that. Like I too would, I would, I would fall back. I would fall in line, even with this like child. Mm hmm. You know what you're talking about. He does know what he's talking about. But yeah, I also loved how they, um, I, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to Victor. But, um, yes, I loved Five's talk. We can get to Victor. 
I love Five's talk with Victor. It was very mature, like you said, um, and very true because I've been waiting for somebody to tell Victor that. Yeah. Like this whole season was everybody being like, hey, Victor, stop. Yeah. And to be fair, we can't keep like holding Victor's hand. Yes, we can't. And that's what Allison was saying. Like, I can't keep doing this. I'm always putting myself on the line for you. Like, he literally sliced her throat. Sliced her throat. And she still was like, no, I love you. You're my sibling. I care for you. And then Victor just wants to be like, oh, like, you're being so unreasonable. And yeah. he's like, really? Yeah. Really? I think I've been very reasonable. Okay, like, okay Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think uh, Five did a great job. Yeah. And he deserves a break. Um, with Victor, I'm very, very happy that they wrote, uh, Elliot Page's transformation yes. into the character of Victor. I thought that was great. I, I was... liked their reactions yeah, that's what and I was how either it was like supportive or it wasn't a reaction at all. Yeah. I love like, this was like with five in them. Like they were kind of just like, okay, cool. Can we get back to what we were doing? Yeah. Like. There are bigger things here than you and me. Like, they were very supportive. Like, that's very cool. Love that for Mm -hmm. you. We will reconvene. We will reconvene, change how we, we, like, you know, use your pronouns and stuff like that. But also, we got other things. Yeah. So, it was, like, very... Um, Luther wanted to throw a party, right? Yeah. It was very sweet. Victor liked that because he was like, okay, yeah, we can keep talking about what we were talking about. And it wasn't a whole thing. It wasn't, like, a multiple yeah. episodes love, exactly and like I also love how like um, Victor had like changed his hair and clothes and like nobody really said anything they were just like I like the hair yeah and he's like yeah I go by Victor now and they're like okay alright yeah and like yeah, Luther wanting to throw a party which was like, cute because like love? <laughs> it was cute because um because like before and I'm, I'm gonna use dead names for this purpose but like you never got that Luther actually liked Vanya Mm -hmm. (laughs) because of like how he always was Mm -hmm. but like you know it was nice to see that you know he does actually care yeah I think it's also because season one he was so obsessed with Allison Mm -hmm. and like the moon the moon (laughs) and making up and like being this important figure important figure especially to their dad yeah all of that he just was like you are the cause of all my problems and i was like mm, the no, cause of your problems dad. that um but yeah i do love that and all but still victor was annoying yeah because you do keep i was gonna say to be fair this time it wasn't really victor's fault like this time victor just like saved a kid and like yeah but it was like the obsession was saving oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, but and like i understand because i'm like you know he does have an obsession with saving people but it's like was he just gonna let that kid drown and like he didn't know that it was gonna do that but like they're always like and it's always like because it's always an accident Mm -hmm. it's like okay you never mean to do it you never mean to do it but when do you start taking responsibility and then also like what what are you now going to do about it so that you can't just be like, oh, it's going to be okay. I'm going to save everybody. Like, this is not working. It's exactly. not working. And that's what that's what he keeps doing. He keeps being like, well, I caused this. I'll save everybody. And they're like, every time you try to save everybody, it goes badly again. Yeah. Um, Shout out and I think we talked about everyone. We talked about Allison already. Anybody from Sparrow? Not really. Um, I don't remember the wifey's name. Yeah, she was fine. I just didn't really... Hair. Yeah, they were having superhero levitation sex, <laughs> monkey sex, monkey, 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 yeah. monkey, monkey. Yeah, I right. think we covered everything. So predictions, season four predictions. I have no, I have no clue. I mean, obviously they're gonna have to do something to fix why Reginald is supreme king of ruler. everyone. Yeah, I like King the Conqueror, sir. And, you know, his wifey's alive now. She's probably going to be just as bad. I forgot, yeah. She's probably going to be just as bad as him. Nobody has powers. That can't last, obviously, because, like, this is a show about everybody having powers, so. Um, Like you were saying earlier, though, I have the fear that it's going to start getting repetitive. It's going to start getting repetitive. This is, the thing is, first off, both me and Anya have 
um, strong opinions on TV shows and where they are around season three and onward. And we call it the season three curse because usually three seasons are solid and the third season is either like one of the best or like the start of the downfall. And, you know, I enjoyed the first three seasons. I definitely think that the second season was the strongest. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think that. Um, Every season there's an apocalypse. Every season, a lot of these characters fall into very similar or even the same plot, the same storyline. It's a very easy show that, to switch up because it has so many possibilities, very supernatural in that way. And just any show that has like superhero, superpower, fantasy mm-hmm. elements has a lot of opportunity for variety, but it could easily start to get repetitive. Yeah, everybody like kind of has the same role, mm-hmm. the same thing, which is why I'm like, okay, next time, what if somebody else starts the apocalypse? Yeah. Or like, what if it isn't, you know, five's job to save everything yeah. or like it isn't you know like can we switch up the roles and also and, what if the world doesn't end yeah. at the end of the season what if like i'm actually hopeful that whatever this thing we're in is where we can stay and that's also why i didn't mind allison's sort of villain streak because she's always been that supportive character yeah it was different for it her was different um some of her actions were unnecessary for sure <laughs> went too far um but yeah so i i have have no idea what my predictions are i just feel like it's just i don't know they can't yeah they can't not have their power we saw ben on the train right we did see ben on the train but also ben was with them right yeah so that'll be interesting and i think that there's going to be some sort of double character thing whether it's double of the main umbrella academy folk or double of everybody Oh, I was just going to say, like, we see the Sparrow Academy people again, or, you know what I mean? Just, like, some... Well, that's what I mean. I mean, like, what if there's, like, yeah, like, two of them? Because Mm -hmm. now this is a new world that they're in, but, like, because what they did, it, like, reset... It seemed to... It, like, reset the world, but there was two bends. There were two bins, and then also, Allison had her daughter, but then also had the husband from the past, who was never there, Yeah. and somehow like has this daughter with the old husband but is still married to it's just like also like how are they all alive without the powers yeah because none of them were born of like actual like um we saw how homegirl just was they just just blew up and were pregnant so like it's kind of like how are they here how are they because when because allison was the one who took over the thing and i think she like made it so that her husband would be there with her yeah and like she maybe, picked her favorite husband yeah well because her and the other husband were divorced yeah, already, they were already she divorced. didn't care um but yeah i don't know i don't know what my predictions are i'm just very excited for it and that is an hour it's funny because around like 40 minutes yeah, I, was I was like, like oh we're not gonna have a lot to talk about i'm gonna have to and force then, it and then it was 20 minutes i was like it's only 20 minutes and then left. there was four minutes and i was yeah. like oh um, knowing us, I should know. Yeah. But so that is our Let's Talk About It Umbrella Academy edition. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please tell us if you did in the comments. Please tell us if you, you know, agreed mm-hmm. with us, if you disagreed. Um, we'll try to put timestamps for parts, but we kind of were all we'll, over the place. We'll so. see what we end up doing. This is our first one, so yeah. everything is trying it out we might have a different setup next time we might not like we literally don't know yeah um trial and error trial and error you guys saw wandavision yeah (laughs) it's like it might not look like this in a month or two uh in terms of the tv shows we're going to be doing this for we have a list don't give us recommendations yes please don't when we want recommendations we will ask ask for recommendations we will ask you guys for recommendations um yeah and we'll be doing these about once, once a, a month. month yeah um again if you want to see it early or we're, we're gonna post on patreon uncut just raw dog in it yeah and like i said these are usually shows that we watch without you guys that we want to talk to you about yeah um because we know that uh, at least for umbrella academy we felt bad because we did promise to uh watch it with you guys and then they did said it. I'm getting real tiny, broken, promise, it, promise it. It's because it was Umbrella Academy, the boys, it was Ms. just Marvel, a lot. and Miss Marvel isn't even all out yet. Okay, 
It's supposed to be an hour. All right. Thanks well, for joining us. We'll see you next time. We will see you guys next time. We hope you enjoyed. And yeah. Tell us all your thoughts. Tell us all of your thoughts. Okay. In, in one comment. <laughs> you can do one long comment. It's fine. Please don't spam. Love you guys. Okay, bye. Bye.